Join Mr. Rabbit for a garden party with plenty of treats. What did I find on the Easter egg hunt today? Chocolate covered bunny Oreos! These chocolate covered Oreos are a decadent, no big Easter treat that your friends and family will love. Plus, they are super simple to make, so be sure to keep on watching! The three items you are going to need are, of course, your favorite Oreos, just as long as they aren't the double stuffed kind. Second is an Oreo mold to make the process a lot easier. If you like this one, the link will be available in the description box. And last is chocolate in the colors you want for your bunny. I highly recommend the quality of Merkin's brand. It's super easy to melt in the microwave. Just pop it in for 30 seconds and give that a good stir. You want to do this for a total of two times. After that, it will be mostly melted with a few chunks in there, just like I have here. You can go ahead and heat for 10 more seconds. The chocolate should be completely smooth and fall right off the spoon when it's done. If not, microwave for only five more seconds max. Now that these are all ready to go, I find a super helpful trick is to store them in the microwave. It really prevents the chocolate from cooling down when you are working with multiple colors. Either a brush or squeeze bottle can be used to paint on the details, whichever you prefer. For his eyes, I squeezed out a tiny dot with some blue chocolate and turned the mold over to see how they look. Once everything is to your liking, Take the next color for the ears and nose. I'm outlining and filling those in with the pink, remembering to work as quickly as possible and tapping the mold occasionally to settle everything. The last portion on Mr. Bunny's face is the eyeballs, cheeks, and teeth with the white chocolate. After completing this, you can place the mold in the fridge for 10 minutes. While we wait, have your Oreos ready and the color for the bunny's fur. I colored mine a caramel color with this oil-based food coloring, but it can be a bit pricey, so some other options are a milk chocolate or peanut butter chocolate as well. Let the mold come to room temperature for about five minutes before pouring in the brown chocolate. I'm filling this about halfway and press the Oreo in until it reaches the bottom. The Oreo can pop up, so just make sure it's not going anywhere and cover the top of the cookie along with the rest of your mold with more chocolate. These layers are quite thick, so we are going to put them back in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. And it's time to get these bunnies to hop out of the mold. Carefully unmold them and look how shiny and cute they are. My favorite way to serve them is in a giant plastic egg with edible grass and mini shimmery eggs. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these chocolate covered Oreos. If you did, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.